Michael, thank you for speaking to us today. Obviously, we haven't had a chance to catch up with you since you, you joined the club a few weeks ago. Um, first of all, um, you've had a good start. So we'll have, yeah, we'll, thank you, thank and, you. And uh, especially the weekend, there possible. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, but how are you finding your first couple of weeks here at the club? Um, honestly, you know, everything's, everything's been really good at the club. The people around at the start have been fantastic, the, from the gaffer to the staff to um, fans. Every, like everyone around the club's been, been great, really taking me in and really looking after me as a mm -hmm. person first. Um, and then the boys, of course, are great, as you know, being around the place. But um, yep. on the football side of things, I think um, results have really, really shown. We're all clicking, all getting together. Oh, and that, that definitely comes from the from the way we are off the pitch. You know, we're all mm -hmm. good around each other. So uh, I think we're just playing a good brand of football. And that comes from the gaffer really trying to get us to play. And, and know the first first month has been really good. Honestly, enjoying my football, which is really good. Um, obviously, people who don't know who you are, obviously you've, you've came from Canada, just to Toronto, yep. um, and you've obviously played a bit of Irish experience. You were at Dundella, Larne, and currently you're on loan at us from Glen Torn. Yep. Obviously, you've got a bit of Irish league experience, but taking that experience, obviously a bit of Premiership experience to the Championship level, you had a brief spell of it with Dundella, mm -hmm. but now you're getting more of it here. At the, obviously at the Welders you get more first team game sure. how do you find the step down from the, the, the obviously the big time the Premier League to the, the Championship do you find it a bit more physical difficult compared to obviously the Premier League football um, first of all I just think if you look at stats stats wise like the table is the tightest table of football I've ever seen in my life let yeah. alone let alone Championship Premiership anywhere in the world I've never seen a mm -hmm. table so tight so every game matters in the league which is mm -hmm. exciting and gets you really up for a Saturday um, but I wouldn't say there would be too much of a drop coming from my previous experiences down here to the welders and I wouldn't even look at it as a, as a drop down because it, what, I, what my focus is coming to play football and looking mm -hmm. to play an attractive brand of football which uh, the guy for Paul Key really made that clear to me when I was coming he's like look we want you to play football we want you yeah. to play out of the back we want you to enjoy your football it's, it's going to be an experience that a lot of clubs don't really offer Mm -hmm. And so I found um, what I found so far is other than the physicality probably being a little, a little bit tougher at times uh, down in the championship. I think we're really trying to play football, especially at home. So I wouldn't say there's too much of a level drop. Maybe a bit of the pace to be a little slower at times in certain areas of the pitch. But mm -hmm. other than that, I think I think the f we're, we're up. We're able to compete as you've seen based off our last results. Yeah. Um, we're able to compete with some clubs coming up in that Premiership, and that this club will be there eventually. Yeah, I mean you saw it yourself. Obviously, we've just knocked out two premiership clubs of the Irish, Irish Cup but which people have made that public over the last couple of days especially we've knocked out Newry City who were in our league last year but now they're in the, the premiership and obviously last weekend with Glen Avon yep. and it just shows to show you that the, the, the type of play that Paul is bringing into the club with the likes of yourself and the likes of the young, young lads he's bringing in it's great to see in the show we can compete at that sort of level not fully at that level but we'll sort of get there no that we definitely definitely can't compete 100% and keep in mind those are two games away from home Exactly. We're, we're not playing probably our best football away from home. Mm -hmm. We're just that just shows the compete level that we have as a club and a togetherness that we will do whatever we can to put our best foot forward to win a match for 90 minutes, 95, whatever mm -hmm. it takes. And so I think um, playing at home in the championship, has, especially since my time being here, um, I've been able to see a different different side of football where we're actually able to play, which is which is huge. And we've gone away from home and gotten results against clubs yeah, in up clubs. in the Premiership. So yeah. we'll definitely take that as a positive to move forward on. Now, last week, obviously, it was uh, well, last weekend. It was a massive game. It was probably one of the biggest games in the club's history. Um, we've been to the quarterfinals before, but that was a bigger achievement this past weekend. You were involved in that. Um, can I get your thoughts on the game itself? Because it didn't really make it difficult for you. Obviously, they were putting the pressure on, but the, the boys defend it well. The likes of Big Kyle and definitely. all the boys just <laughs> so they parked the bust at, yeah. towards the end. Yeah. But... It didn't really make it much difficult for you at all in the day, did it? Um, I had a couple, couple, couple saves yeah. to make. It wasn't, wasn't anything too stressful. I just think the more mental side of it is keeping organized, keeping everyone switched on through. We we scored quite early, I'd say, in the second half. So we knew at that point they're going to apply the pressure for the rest mm -hmm. of the rest of that second half. So I think all the boys were fantastic from the whole back line through the midfield all the way up to the top. I think yeah. honestly everyone put a absolute shift in we all played yeah. together for each other did whatever we could and you're right it is a huge accomplishment for the club and I'm just honoured to be part of that yeah. and as much as it's it's a good achievement for myself I just take it more on the club to get like I'm so happy to be here and so happy that we've been able to progress to this point and hopefully yeah. we can make some more history going forward well, it's good for yourself obviously getting more first team football Absolutely. Uh, which is the reason why you're here as well but again when you first come into the club the club wasn't doing it really well we made, we made that public the other day as well when Paul took over we only had four points from seven games now we have a possibility of getting the top six, which is a, a massive achievement compared to where we were. With the likes of yourself coming in, a couple of younger lads have come in as well, with Michael and uh, Matthew hitting form too as well, scoring plenty of goals. I mean, Matthew scored 15 yeah. goals since he's come back. 100%. It's, it's great to be part of that sort of camaraderie in the dressing room. I mean, 
after the dressing on Saturday again was another great day for yourself being part of that yeah. on the way home in the team bus as well it's just a great way to be and it's obviously going to boost your confidence as well no for sure it's um the team morale right now is at, at quite a high and um I mean I think I came to the came into the squad at the right time I think Paul the gaffer obviously was uh finally got everyone on board to trying to play his style of football and and buying into his sessions his type of training and and you see what they're trying to do with the club is so great and yeah. um and I think I came in at the perfect time where I can I kind of add that assistance of my experience and the way I like to play football mm -hmm. and and it's just really brought everyone together and and we have had a good month of football yeah. we've had um, with whether it's the cup or in the league and I know that we have the possibility of a top six and I think our focus now as a club is just taking it week in week out one game at a time and yeah. and um, because we know how important it is every every point matters now at this point of, of the season so um, obviously we have that in mind of hoping for a top six finish but we just need to take care of business week in week out and I think that's that's what we'll do. And with the Irish Cup being a bit of a bonus for us now we've got a big game a home draw for once which is great yeah. home to Lorne um, you've been at Lorne this is obviously going to be a, a, an interesting game for yourself personally because obviously you were at Lorne for a, sp a spell um, obviously Lorne are coming up They've got obviously a good quality squad. Definitely. They've got they've got a good financial back, and they've got they've obviously the last couple of years they've won this, the County Adam Shield three times. You were part of it once at the time they won it as yeah. well. Um, can I get your thoughts on the game coming up? Because it is going to be a, a night for you, but obviously a big night for us as the club as well. But it's going to be a, hopefully a, a good night for the club overall. No, I think I think the more important thing is that it's going to be a great night for the club. Um, I don't want to selfishly speak. Oh, I have, it's something big for me mm -hmm. or and all that's because it's not it's not about that. I've been brought into this club to play my part and, and enjoy my football. So I think it's it's going to be a great mo great night for the club. I think we're going to enjoy the experience of playing against a top side because we want to mm -hmm. see how we, we match up against a top side, especially in the form we're in. And I think it'll just be a good day of football. And I think the result will take care of itself. Yep. Um, Again, if we just come out and play play our style of football and we all give 100, percent you never know what can happen. It's a one off game. It's a cup. It's a cup exactly. Um, yep. And um, I just think we just all need to enjoy the occasion. And, and like I said, I don't want to get too caught up in all oh, it's my old club and that because it's not no. about that. It's about he being here at the club, enjoying this experience. It's an honor to be part part of this club in that stage now, we're playing against the third Premiership side in three rounds of Irish Cup. So we'll take that, you know, we'll take exactly. that and see how we fare well, against them. With the cup, you never know. I mean, uh, I was talking to Paul there um, last week, and he was saying about we've had Championship clubs even reached the final before. Right. The, the likes of Ballon Mallard United yeah. have reached the final. Queens University reached the semi finals a couple of years ago as well. I mean. We're trying to make this place like a fortress like the old ground used to be. I know you never already played at the old ground before. No, yeah, yeah. Not that you'll ever miss that old pitch. But the point is we're trying to make this into a bit of a fortress. And if we keep playing the way we're playing, we could maybe make this a bit difficult for Lauren coming up here thinking, this is not going to be an easy walkover for them. No, I think I think especially the way we've been playing and, and the camaraderie around the place and the support that we have from everyone, whether you're in the dressing room before the match, during the match, or people in the stands are helping support us. I think it is a tough place to come, not in terms of the pitch or or the facilities that we have, but I just think in terms of how well we play at home and how well we back ourselves at home and we enjoy our football here. And like I said, all the guys are given 100, 110% week in, week out, whether it's training or on a match day. And I think if we continue that form and continue that belief in ourselves, again, you never know what can happen. Well, good luck for the rest of the season. I mean, hopefully we'll get Thank a few you. more clean sheets for yourself anyway. And Maybe get that top six, but you never know. We might uh, cause another upset in the cup and hit the back pages again for the papers. Hundred percent, hundred percent. That's what I'm here for. I just want to enjoy football, do as well as mm -hmm. I can, play my part in the team. And like I said, the team's been flying. So everyone in front of me has been unbelievable. So we just hopefully keep that good run of games going. You never know what can happen.